we're in a tissue to connected tissue. So connected tissue, we have a lot of connected tissue. This is the most abundant tissues you have in the body. Uh, you like chicken nugget? You think it's chicken? No. The most abundant tissue in the body is actually connected tissue. So they analyzed the chicken nugget they found is only 40% muscle. The other 60% connected tissue. So they should call it connected tissue nugget. Uh, but if they call it connected tissue nugget, nobody want to buy it. So they still call it chicken nugget. You still eating protein, that will be fine. Okay, the characteristic, you have land cells, a lot of extracellular matrix. And the matrix is, the, the analogy I use is, it's like a soup. So you have the ingredient and you have the watery part, that's the matrix. And you can make a matrix thick or pretty watery. So the connective tissue, uh, their, their extracellular matrix, you can put the ground substance and fiber and totally change the soup. So you can have a very watery or very, very tough connective tissue. And they also come from the mesenchyme cells. So I use this to explain, this is mesenchyme cells, they differentiate into all kinds of connective tissue, like this other white blood cell, lymphocyte. Uh, osteocyte is the bone cells, uh, red blood cells, all these are white blood cells. And adipose, that's the fat. Chondro, every time you see the chondro, uh, that, that's the cartilage. Osteocyte, that's the bone cells. So pretty much the whole connective tissues you cover your whole body, and they've come from the mesenchyme cell. And let's look at the fiber. So the fiber change the, the soup. So you have different kind of fiber. They have a collagen fiber, that's the strongest one. And reticular fiber, that's the most common, common one. And elastic fiber, that's the bendable. It's like a rubber band. So they can change the component component and change the change the soup. So connective tissues, uh, you have different kind of cells. So we're gonna talk, talk about the fibroblast. Uh, the chondroblast, this is the cartilage, and osteoblast, that's the bone. And fibroblast is the one in the connective tissue, connective tissue proper part. And you also have the others, the fat, uh, the blood cells, and mast cells. Okay, so let's look at the connective tissue proper. Connective tissue proper is a big category. So you have the loose and the dense connective tissue. So the loose one, areoli, adipose, and reticular. The dense one, you have the dense irregular, dense regular, and elastic. So let's look at the loose connected tissue. The first one, areoli. Areoli connected tissue, uh, you found them in a lot of areas. Uh, there's the, there's the, in all epitheliums, like your skin. Between your skin and the muscle, what do you put? You put the connected tissue, and these are the areoli connected tissue. So their function, structure, support, hold the body fluid, uh, because your, your body fluid uh, accumulate there. Uh, we call it interstitial fluid. And ideally, they will go to the lymphatic system, become lymph, go back to your circulation. Uh, if you have a patient, they have edema, and there's too much of this. The, the, the water accumulate in the areola connective tissue, so un, un, under the skin. Uh, defending, store nutrients, the fat is connective tissue. So that's how they look like. That's how they look like. Uh, I will give you a picture, ask you what kind of connected tissue it is. So you found not too many fiber, not too many fiber, a lot of water, and the fiber are not well organized, means this is not, not designed for the tough job. So this is the uh, areola connective tissue. So they have the, a lot of water tissue fluid, so it's water fluid, interstitial fluid. And their ground substance is viscous because their function is like a middle layer between the skin and the muscle. Okay, next one, uh, adipose. Adipose are pretty easy to identify. You found a lot of bubble and I ask you what kind of connective tissue it is and the answer will be adipose. Uh, because all these are fat. So when they prepare the slides, they use alcohol to wash out uh, the dye. So after they dye it, give them color, they use alcohol wash out, and all the fat being washed out, so that, that's why you see a lot of bubble. So they are pretty easy to, to, to be identified. Uh, a story about the fat. So if you struggle with losing fat, uh, maybe one day it will save your life, like this person been stabbed 38 times. Uh, he's supposed to die, but 
he has a lot of fat. So it turned out every time the knife moves in, the inner organ shine away and the fat take the heat. So he has no inner organ damage. So he survived this attack. Okay, next one. Reticular connective tissue. So reticular connect connective tissues, um, this is the structure. How do I explain it? Uh, I've still tell tell me this look like a cherry blossom. So yeah, kind of. So still loose connective tissue. So you see you see those uh, water. So they tell you this is not a dense one. It's not designed for a for a, a serious job. So you. If I give you a picture and ask you what kind of connective tissue it is, and it looks like a cherry blossom, that's the reticular. Okay, now let's look at the dense connective tissue. You have the dense irregular, dense regular, and elastic. So these tissues, well, they are called the dense. Apparently, they have more fiber, so they are stronger. They are designed uh, to do the serious job. So they are, they they can they can take a take abuse like those collagens. Uh, those rubber rubber bands or I call it duct tape uh, surround the muscle uh, to the bones and all these are the dense connective tissue okay so this is the dense irregular connective tissue and you found there are much much more fiber it's irregular so those fiber are not uh, not li not lining up so where do you find it joint capsule so joint capsule is like the duct tape surround the joint so joint is between bone and bone, and outside you put a lot of layers of duct tape surround it. So joint capsule is the dense irregular. So they can be abused. Next one, dense regular. And you found, wow, their fiber line up pretty well. So this tell you they can take a lot of force in their, this direction. Not much in this direction. Same like muscle. You found muscle have similar uh, o o o organization structure. So what's their function? Well, they are tendon ligaments. Tendon ligaments, they are exactly the same. But the tendon connect muscle to the bone, and the ligaments connect bone to bone. That's the only difference. So uh, think about the muscle. Okay, they are ready to be pulled in this direction, not much in this direction. And that's why the, this fiber have to line up pretty well, so they are dense regular. Next one, elastic. Elastic have a lot of elastic fiber, and I call elastic fiber rubber band, so they can expand recoil. And in the standing, their color are very dark, so you see a lot of elastic fiber uh, in the aorta. So aorta is the blood vessel connected to the left ventricle. Every time the heart contract, they're going to squeeze the blood from the left ventricle to the aorta. So the aorta need to be able to expand, take all the blood from the ventricle, and recoil back, so they have a lot of elastic fiber. Next one, cartilage. So cartilage have the cells and the matrix. The matrix is up to 80% water. And cartilage has no blood vessels, so it's a vascular. And has no nerve, so if you damage the cartilage, uh, you don't feel it until it's too late. When we talk about the knee, the joint, uh, we'll talk about uh, when you feel your, your knee hurt, that's usually too late, you damage all the cartilage. Uh, the cells, chondrocyte. And they live in the lacunae. Lacunae are called the little lake. So it's in the matrix. They, they put a small hole for the for the cell to stay there. When they're getting old, they become the chondro. Oh, sorry, chondroblast are those uh, young ones. And when they're getting old, they become chondrocyte. Stay in the lacunae. So chondroblast are those young cartilage cells. And we have three different kinds of cartilage: hyaline cartilage, elastic, and fibro cartilage. So let's look at these three. And they have different functions. So that's all the matrix that are different. The first one, hyaline cartilage. Hyaline cartilage is the most common cartilage. It's like between your uh, ribs to the sternum. These are the hyaline cartilage. And also when we talk about the bone uh, synthesis, embryonic skeletal, and that's the cartilage as well. Uh, so they have a lot of those uh, watery environment matrix, and these are the lacunae. So you see those uh, bubble, and you know this the hyaline cartilage. Next one, elastic cartilage. Elastic cartilage is a cartilage you can you can bend it a lot of times; it will bounce back. So uh, it in your ear and epiglottis. That's the 
uh, the cartilage block your airway when you uh, swallow your food. And this cartilage have a lot of elastic fibers. All this I told you, elastic fiber are very dark color. So you you found I give you this, I ask you what kind of connective tissue, and that's the elastic cartilage. The last one, fibro cartilage. So that's the tough one. I call this super glue. So that's the top one. You put them in a place, uh, you can take a lot of force. So between the uh, intervertebral disc and you put the fibro cartilage. Okay, the bone. Uh, we're going to have different chapter talk about the bone. So here we briefly talk about the, the, the structure. So the bone cells, you have the osteo uh, blast and osteocyte. So the same as cartilage. Osteoblast is the young uh, bone cell. And osteocyte are those matured bone cells. And different from cartilage. Cartilage has no blood vessel. The bones have a lot of a blood vessel vascularized. And this is, if I give you this one, ask you what kind of connective tissue, the answer would be bone. So the bone have a lot of, like a straw. You put a lot of straw together, that's a bone. And each straw is called the, uh, the osteum. So this is one osteum. And central part is called the uh, central canal. That's where the blood vessel goes through. And this small cockroach, uh, that's those osteocytes. So these are the bone cells. So most of them, uh, they stay in the lacunae. Yeah, and these are the bone cells. So most of the bone is, is actually 2% bone cells, 98% bone matrix. Okay, next one, uh, blood. So blood is also connective tissue. So blood has blood cells and 99.9% .9 red blood cell. And the matrix part is mainly water, so it's called the plasma. Plasma is 99% 90, water. So if I give you this one, ask you what kind of connective tissue, and the answer would be blood. Okay, so we we'll finish the epithelium, finish the connective, we combine these two together, and this is called the membrane. So we have different kind of membrane. We have the cutaneous membrane, mucous membrane, and serous membrane. Cutaneous membrane, this is your skin. And the mucous membrane, that produce mucus. So in your airway, that's the mucous membrane. And also your uh, GI tract, mucous membrane. Serous membrane, that's the simple squamous epitheliums. Uh, they, their function is they, they, are, they, they cover, so you know, we talk about the pleural cavity, peritoneal cavity, uh, pericardial cavity, all these are made of serous membrane, so they produce serous fluid. Okay, let's quickly go over the muscle and the neuron. We have different chapters talk about them. So the muscles, uh, you, the muscle cells are called the muscle fiber, and they have a lot of myofilaments. And we have three different kinds of muscle, skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, and smooth muscle. Uh, skeletal muscle, they organize pretty well. So they are ready to produce a big power. That's skeletal muscle. We'll talk about the structure later in the, uh, in the muscle chapter. Cardiac muscle, they branch out a little bit. So this is the cardiac muscle. They glue together through the intercollected disc. So you can see where they fuse together. The third one, smooth muscle. So smooth muscle are not designed to produce a big power. Uh, so their fiber don't line up well. And that's why the smooth muscle don't look like a muscle. They look like a cell. They look like a cell. They still contract like all your uh, inner organ except the heart. That's smooth muscle. Okay, the last one, nervous tissue. So you have th different kinds of cells, neurons and neuroglia in the nervous tissue. And in unit four, we're going to talk about the structure. So that's the neuron. So neuron have those star shape. They have the uh, they are the one generate electrical signal and able to form the neural network with other neuron. And these small dots, these are glia cells. So actually, they have ten times more glia cells than neuron. Okay. So these are all the uh, tissue parts. So this is for you to uh, memorize. Okay. That's it.